Welcome everyone. Today I want to talk about a common problem. Everyone, almost everyone with a 16 gigabytes iPhone needs to empty the iPhone. There's no space anymore. They have too many pictures and too much usage of the memory. They just want to get rid of the pictures and the videos and they don't know how to do it. I'm going to show you. At first, just make sure you got the right cables. Get your camera, iPhone or whatever it is you want to empty and I'll show you. So I'm going to show you on a MacBook, but it's the same thing with Windows. So I just open up the Finder. I go to Programs and then I select the Photo Loader. My iPhone pops up right there, Albero. I have to open up my iPhone for the computer to be able to import the pictures. These pictures are all, they're still stored on my phone. But now I can select, I can drag and drop them as I please. I can even select destination folder, destination map, I can create a new map, I can import all to this destination I select. If I select a destination, I can select a destination in the iCloud Drive. I can create a map right here and I can automatically, I can copy all the pictures to that map. The first thing we got to do actually is, is to figure out where do we want to place all of these pictures and small videos. What do we want to do with them? We want to copy them to the computer? I don't think so. We want to keep it in the cloud. I think that's the best, best thing, but for me it's the best thing. Maybe you have something else that's better for you. You can copy it to an external disk, to a USB stick. I mean, first you have to decide what do you want to do with these pictures. Of course, we're going to empty out your camera or your phone when we're finished. When we've made a copy, we're going to free up all the space. So when we know what to do with these pictures, we want to place them in a map in the cloud. This is me, because I kind of uh, feel it's more secure to keep them in the cloud and I got 50 gigabytes storage plan. So I go to my iCloud Drive. I'm going to open up a new map in the iCloud Drive. I can't just dump like 150 pictures and it will be a mess. So I'm gonna create a new map. I'm gonna name it Camera October 2016. You can name it whatever you wish. And now I, I go back to my phone And I mark out the picture I want to drag and drop. I can drag and drop it if I like. And I have to wait for the clock every time. There's my picture. I just dragged it over from my iPhone to my iCloud Drive. And not only to my iCloud Drive, I put it in my camera October 2000. And 16 map. The window on the left is my computer. The window on the right is my iPhone or it can be my camera. I can even pinpoint the map, the final destination map, through going to choose the bottom choice Other. If I choose Other, I will get the directory. I can pinpoint the exact location, destination of 
all the pictures. It's photography. Sometimes you maybe don't have any space left on your sand disk. You just you just want to take all the pictures from your camera, place them somewhere safe. You will look through them later, but you at the moment you need space. You just want to move them to a secure location, and that's how you do it. Then you just import all of it, select the final destination map, and you just press import all. Other choice, you just select the ones you like, you drag them over. I'm going to show you. You select the pictures you want to save, you want to copy them, you just select the ones you like. And if you want to select more than one, you hold the command button and you just click on them. I have selected my destination. Camera October 2016. I click on a picture and I press import. It shows up there. I click on another picture, I press import, I can also drag them over. You just mark the ones you need, mark the pictures you really want to drag over or copy and you just push import. With your destination set they will automatically be copied to the destination map or folder. And if you want to go old school, you want to use the mouse to just drag them over. You just select the pictures you want to copy and you just drag them over to the map you want them to be copied to. So I can drag all of these pictures into this new map on my desktop and it doesn't have to be a map it can be an external drive or a, a USB stick it can be sand disk it can be a DVD a blu-ray a program for burning something it doesn't really matter what matters is that that you can drag from one map to another and one of them is your phone and the other one is a destination where you want to save all of these pictures. And when you're done copying, you double check that you really copied your valuable pictures. You delete all the pictures in your phone and you have cleared up some space. You can use AdDrop to copy your pictures to an iMac or a MacBook. If you use Apple, you can easily open up your pictures on your iPhone. You just mark down the photos you want to copy, press the arrow, and you will be able to airdrop them straight into the Apple computer you're using. You just press the button accept on the Apple computer and you're good to go. Easy, no cables. Mark down the pictures, press the share button, airdrop it, accept it on the Apple computer and you're good to go. And last but not least, I'm gonna show you how to mark down some pictures in your photo library on your iPhone you just mark down pictures that you want to save to iCloud if you mark down more than one picture you won't be able 
to send them into iCloud. But if you mark one picture, the icon will show. If you mark two pictures, the icon will disappear. With one picture marked, you have the option to share and save into your iCloud Drive. You can even use this to pinpoint location in your iCloud Drive. Don't forget to ask questions and thanks for watching.